I am so sorry. I lost track of time. Uh, you guys can hate me forever. I was in a, I was doing a fan dub and then I was working on the sound work and I didn't even look at the time and I was like, oh my god. Ali, we love you even more. All right, because you're playing no, hard. No, no, don't. <laughs> I don't want to play hard to get. I don't and... want to play that with you. I already, I want you already. Why? This is, it shouldn't be a thing. No, listen, that's how our wife got me and you're doing the same thing. So well done. You know my, <laughs> you know my secret. And uh, now I, yeah, I'm even more star starstruck to have you on. So um, thank <laughs> I appreciate you very much that, man. for coming it's on. It's an honor. Yeah, no, it's great. It is really good. And you're looking fly very fly great mic Thank you. great setup you don't have you don't have um egg boxes like i have you've got real hey real... man eggs <laughs> eggs are a good time and i hear the cartons work just as uh just as well so don't even worry about it mm -hmm. and your beard is incredible your hair is you amazing. know i learned threading threading man it's uh it's a game changer once you grow out the beard because like my hair will grow like kind of up here it's like the you know the south asian thing but uh yeah. i thread it myself and then make sure i try and get these straight lines it's all a facade can you hear good I, to know I, I, didn't yeah. didn't know this podcast i would learn something on but hey here we are yeah like uh give me a side view right now of your beard oh no yours is pretty lined up already man you don't even have to worry about those top unless you shave it i do shave it a little bit like right around here and kind of get that part a little straight Gotcha. Yeah. So threading, it makes it so you don't have to shave for like, you know, like, uh, usually like for my white friends, they don't ha like, if I thread them, they don't have to uh, shave for like the next like two, three weeks. For me, it's like, I, all right, well, a week I, later. so what you're saying is I need to keep booking a, a plane ticket to come see you like once every once a month and we'll call it good. You know, there might be someone who does it in your area. So look into <laughs> it. It makes you look super fresh. So I would recommend it. If you were here, I would, you know, I would do it up in a second. Mr. Well, Anime jealous. Dad, do you grow a beard? Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous. I'm a little bit jealous. And uh, again, that's my another trigger of mine, jealousy and playing hard to get. But no, I don't have a beard, unfortunately. Um, I, he I, threaded I do... it all. Yeah, I do Oof, grow. That would be painful. <laughs> I grow a good beard <laughs> and it's ginger. It turns out to be ginger, but... Um... You gotta send me a picture later. Me wants yeah. to see. I've only oh, seen you baby well, faced. I know. I just, I, I, yeah, no excuse really. But I'll, I'll grow one out because I feel a lot less manly sitting in with you guys. You guys look amazing. Um, Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> and yes, you work, sir. You work out, Ali, don't you? Because those pecs don't lie. The pe yeah, honestly, it's all I have. This and the the arms. Uh, maybe I have noodle <laughs> legs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to work out just because I like to keep the mental, uh, you know, up and uh, up and going. Uh, does a lot for that. Uh, looks wise, also, is you know, it's not too bad. I've always been trying to get uh, small. I've always been bigger, but I'm like, I don't even care about the muscle. I just want to look like a toothpick. You know, <laughs> grass is always greener. Grass is always greener. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> keep it up um but no it is great to have you on the show and um we're both big fans of yours and uh we love your fan dubs we love your work we love your voice um you have an incredible talent and um i'm glad you're sharing it with the world how did it all begin for you ali thanks man i appreciate it uh for me it actually started like i've always liked uh anime i think the gateway anime for me was like uh, Dragon Ball Z or Death Note. Uh, but it was specifically while watching a scene from Death Note. Like I've always enjoyed watching actors behind the scenes. So like behind the mic, seeing those videos on YouTube, I'd be like, oh, that's so cool. You don't even realize there's a person on the other end voicing these characters. Uh, you know, you don't think much to that. It's more you, you fall in love with the character. But I fell in love with the behind the scenes portion. Um, so I watched the scene. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And I told my uh, wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, I was like, that is so cool. Just like, watch this, because I made her watch Death Note 2. And she's like, oh, I could see you doing that. And that honestly was the spark that got me into doing more research about how do you become a voice actor, you know, typing in what most people do when they get interested in that mm -hmm. field. And then uh, a lot of self, uh, self-taught self research just into the craft itself. And uh, here we are almost seven years in. <laughs> amazing. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. And and does your wife voice act? 
You know, she doesn't, and uh, I get her to do scenes with me sometimes because it's a blast, and she she's just like, please, if it's a short scene, I'll do it. I hate these long ones because I'll be here in the booth with her while she's trying to record, and it'll take her a really long time because she wants to get it just right, but she's like, ah, oh, this is so frustrating. I don't know how you do it because when it comes to the acting, the timing, mm. all of that, it's, uh, it's a little difficult to do because... For the scenes I upload, uh, like I don't take uh, usually any breaks in the middle. Like I'll dub it from beginning to end of scene, like all in one go. Um, whereas, uh, you know, the dubs you see online, usually the actors get to, you know, take some time. Okay, do this line. Okay, stop recording, do the next line. And then they mm. fit it in like that. For me, it's a whole bunch of practice from beginning to end of scene until I get the timings right. And then, yeah, upload that. Cool. Wow, yeah. that's uh, that that sounds extremely challenging, but um, but whatever There's a lot you're involved. doing, is, yeah, whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> um, now you've worked with so many different people, so many different uh, social media influences and stuff. I know you've enjoyed everyone. Now, who's the oh worst? God, yes, who's the worst person? I'm joking. Now, who's 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 uh, one of the best <laughs> people that you've worked with, or who do you have the most fun with on a regular basis? Honestly, I have a blast with it. Uh, like. What I'll do is like sometimes people reach out to me and be like, hey, I'd love to do a collab with you. And I'm always open to working with new VAs. Like I, I want to make like make myself, uh, you know, like friends with all VAs. I, I enjoy getting to know them more. I getting like getting to know their story, working with them, seeing what their acting ability is like. Um, when it comes to favorites, I, I don't know. I, I hate picking favorites, but like there's obviously some people where, I'll, you know, I've collabed with more because either they ask or I'm like, hey, let's do another scene um taylor johnson actually just today i just finished uh doing a scene uh for the second collab with her she is amazing she i feel like she's super underrated her skills behind the mic are amazing um we do like comedic anime scenes so i'll be uploading actually i already uploaded that one so you can check it out later after this that's why i was a little late because i lost track of time editing that <laughs> but there's there's honestly way too many there's like uh cory lavalier uh cable foster um there's honestly so many. I, I can't like those are just names that come to the top of my head because I have man crushes for, uh, you know, both those guys as well as others, you know, like, you know, Luke Vespori, mm -hmm. very handsome man, very mm -hmm. talented, does the uh, comedic Demon Slayer scenes. Um, there's Tinky, who's like a rising VA as well, uploads comedic stuff as well. Uh, Mika, Skeletons, best sound engineer. There's honestly so many. And like, that's what I love to do is like post content with all these other VAs so that, you know, if my channel is doing decently well, then, you know, maybe they'll get the attention uh, on their channels and people know of them and they can hire them from, you know, hearing their voice like that. But for me, honestly, man, it's just a blast meeting other people. Like uh, I'm very social in that regard, like where I try to make myself known and uh, like know others in the space because VA is such a small world. Like everyone yeah. knows everybody. It's insane. Like I heard of you uh from luke actually and then i started watching your stuff and i'm like man this guy like meets so many cool people and interviews them and you're known as like the anime dad so i love anime so i, I don't know maybe i don't know maybe I, we can I hook up you. and just tell our wives that uh it was a mistake that we accidentally made. I, <laughs> you know she she sees me like this with other men and she's like are, are you sure i'm like mm. You know, I'm questioning it, meeting all these awesome dudes online. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's actually where I meet most of my voice acting friends um, is uh, from Grindr. But I talking about. <laughs> we need a winder, you know, VO winder, you know, where you just meet up with VOs. <laughs> just guys, saw, though, that... just guys. <laughs> all right. So someone copyright this so we can get a trademark on it and start making a profit. Oh, yeah. Calm down. Make millions. <laughs> that's a that's a really really good idea um i just spoke to i just spoke to did you watch one piece do you you know i just did a scene from one piece but i've i haven't gotten into it you know it's just really daunting because i hear there's like so many episodes and there's such little time in the day and for me i i binge very hard mm -hmm. uh i think the posters behind you are are they one piece yeah yeah they are and i just spoke to um um major attaway and oh my goodness he voices um queen in one piece if you haven't 
seen his his voice acting you need to he is the greatest probably the i got goosebumps just every every time he spoke he was that good he's a he's a large he's a large man and um have you heard of queen no i have i'm i'm honestly so bad right. with like voice actor names other than the ones that i kind of like fell in love with when i got into anime and get, got into voiceover and started looking at their websites, their demo reels. So I'm like, when people mention names sometimes, I'm just like, uh, but then they mention a character. I'm like, oh, okay, that's awesome. I really should make, make uh, you know, more uh, apparent as to who, which VA is who. But it's just, I, I enjoy meeting the people that I work with because mm -hmm. those are the people that I feel like should be known, at least to me. Because yeah. like a mm -hmm. big, well-known VA is cool to meet, like at the cons. But um, for me, I put more priority on knowing the people that I work with in my space. Good. That's but good. I am going to check out his clips because if you say you got goosebumps, I, me got to check it out. <laughs> Bro, mate. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Mm, queen. Seriously. Mm. No, his name's, uh, his name's Major Attaway. He voices a guy called Queen in One Piece. But um, uh, it's deep. It's gravelly. It's beautiful. If you, if you, I love actually, I love actually to see you voice, um, do a fan dab of, of something that Queen does because his voice's range is. It's really fun. It's really fun. Give it a go. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Um, all right. Well, let's do some improv because Biovio, you know, we, I, I literally, I didn't actually want to ask any questions because I've got the two greatest voices of a generation right here, you know, Ali and Biovio. And <laughs> oh, God. I wanted to make sure. That <laughs> That's these... a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a pressure to... on me. I've heard your all my bro. It's like, oh, my God, amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not good with, like, uh impressions there's like this channel i'm in where there's just so many great impressionists and you know every time they're like hey let's make content i'm like oh man i you know i can do the acting part but the impression part i can try and nail but yeah let's go for it man cool cool all right well biovia had this great idea which i he had a few great he, has, he always has great ideas he's very creative but um so it's basically a uh, a trailer um so Biovio, if you want to start being the, the, um, being the the guy who narrates the tra the trailer, and then Ali is the person who, who um, who's in the movie itself. Does that make sense, Biovio? Yeah, yeah, I got you. <clears throat> so, so, so it works out like. Um, let's do a quick um, thing for Ali. You, you, you started start us off, Biovio. <clears throat> In a world where cooking is the most purest form of art and expression, one man wakes up one day with a dream and he says, I love oh, cooking. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> so, oh okay. <laughs> Yo, we can do this. Oh, I didn't know you were both, so I didn't know you were both named Ali. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm down for it. If you guys have played Overcooked, you can be my partner in there. You know, usually I'm yelling at my wife because she's just screwing up the orders, but hey. Yeah. So no, 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 oh, no. Yeah, I, I just wanted to it. show you. No, I'm not in. I'm not in this. I'm out. My voice. My voice is not the greatest. I um. So so. I all right. You You're two. An awkward anime character. Biovio, <laughs> Biovio, <laughs> and Ali. Uh, off you go. Okay. <clears throat> in a world where most people know how to play chess and do so religiously on a daily basis. One man struggles to learn the art of this ancient craft as he tells all of his teachers. Uh, I, I don't know how to play chess, but I want to be the number one chess player. Please, not to E5. Ugh, I don't even know if that's a chess term because I don't play. I play checkers. His knight did indeed go to E5, but it was, of course, the wrong move. Ah! Oh no! I don't know what to do! Knight to e6? e6, e7, it didn't matter. For this champion to be would struggle for many years on his journey. But one day, an epiphany hit him in the middle of a match. Ah! I didn't even think about it! Knight to c5! C5 it was, and from that moment on, he succeeded in every match he ever played in. Yeah! <laughs> I probably peaked. I haven't adjusted my gain at all. I hope I didn't Bro, peak. bro, you no, didn't No, it came through super clear. 
Let's go! Zoom. Proper mic technique. <laughs> Yeah, Zoom has this issue where it gets to a point, but that didn't peak. That wind came through. I backed beautifully. off a little bit, so that's awesome to hear. Great. And those, those biceps popped out too. This is going to go viral with those biceps. That's amazing. Well, yeah, I've been trying to, trying to work out here. I'm probably not as big as Luke. You know, he's got the definition, but oh, yeah. uh, I'm getting there. Mm hmm. That was really, really good. I love that. I love that. Good job, you two. My goodness. I, like... I don't play chess, so, you know, I'm glad. I don't that... either. <laughs> okay. But, uh, we're from... In the, in the corner worked. behind me, right? In the corner behind me over here, there's that uh, that hollow board chess that they play in Star Wars Episode Four. I have that, and it's sitting in the corner, and I was like, chess. Okay, great. Let's, let, sure, why not? Let's Let's roll with that and see what happens. Nice. I might have to steal that if I ever come to your place. <laughs> oh, you guys I'll just good. buy you another one. <laughs> they sell them at Disney. I'll get you one. I have to give that one to Anime Dad if I steal it then. So you have oh, to yeah. buy a third. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, no, that would be amazing. My goodness, your, your mic sounds so incredible and clear. It makes it so easy. It's freaking better, man. It costs a fortune. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> My um my one sucks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna invest. I'm gonna invest in a good one soon. Um all right, we got a, a game show improv idea, like a dating show, and uh, I'll be the host. Now Biovia will be a girl. Um I'm just doing that. <laughs> no, you can you can be the pink haired girl, Biovia. You've done it before. Oh, Mitsuri? Oh gosh. Uh okay. Okay, I got you. Okay, and, and, I'm down. And Ali is a is a is a boy. If you if you wanted to. All right. Welcome to Would You Date This Woman? My name is Jack Sparrow, and today's guests we have a woman who loves with her whole heart and sword, Mitsuri. Love reading first form. <laughs> nice i didn't know you brought mickey mouse with you mitsuri but we also have ali not ali we've got allison a man from the deepest corner of hell he is a demon as well his name is allison demon face ah yes a weird name i have allison being the demon king but man Mitsuri, you just get things going. <laughs> so, all right. First question to each of you. All right. Uh, Allison, what is your ideal date? Oh, for me, I'd say basking in the fires of hell with a very attractive hot woman. That's good. I like that. I, I, I resonate with that as well. Mitsuri, is that something you'd be keen to do with Allison? <laughs> You're cute and all, but uh, yeah, I know too many people that have lost their lives to your, their lives to your kind. So I would not be okay with the fires of hell or the demons. The, 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 maybe in a different life we can be reincarnated as somebody better, and then we can have so much fun and fall in love and watch the sunset. Oh, wouldn't that just be wonderful? Um, oh, come on, baby. It's my birthday. You can enjoy this. It'll be very hot. And seeing you there, the clothes will just strip right away. Mitsu. Allison, calm down. Calm down. This is R18. I'm I sorry, mean, R I'm sorry. This is PG. This is a PG show. Oh my God. Right? Uh, there are four yeah. year olds watching right now. But Sorry, four year olds. You'll learn about it one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my no, final. I would have wanted to stop it. My final question for each of you, all right, is um, is if 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 you were a vegetable, and your partner was a fruit, what fruit and vegetable would you to be? Allison, you go first. This is too easy. Obviously, the biggest cucumber in the world. I love cucumbers, and I hope you can give me the perfect vegetable to my fruit slash vegetable it's it's a vegetable i think i think it's a vegetable but okay. Mitsuri, what about you well if i had to choose a fruit to be i would want to be 
everyone would always pick something like apples or strawberries. And I just find those to be so bland. So I'm going to go with a tomato because everyone thinks it's one thing, but it's not. And you need to accept it. Uh, he picked that. He picked that. <laughs> oh, he, you know, a succulent tomato sounds just divine. <sighs> well, also, yeah. All right, all right. Well, I think you two can move on to the next round, which is marriage on the spot. So we're going to get you to that round very soon. We'll get you dressed up. We'll get you married and then see how long the marriage lasts with a camera crew in your house. You guys happy with that? Oh, yeah. I want everyone watching this. <laughs> Right. Um, we'll just see what happens. Good. Come to me, my sweet, delicate tomato. Oh. oh. Nice wig, you two. All right, you know, you two can keep calm down. It's getting too hot and heavy in this podcast, so we need to calm down, please. All right? Sorry, I'll put, I'll put down the tomato. Off. Yeah, my God. Damn it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but that was very good. I like that voice, Ali. That was, um, and obviously, obviously, Biovio, that was incredible Mitsuri voice. But Ali, that deep, raspy, um, bad boy type voice. That's, that's really cool. Very yeah, good. I like to use it for the, you know, the deeper, deeper voice. I feel like I don't have, I have decent range, but like to go down here is very easy. But I don't know if it's that good of a character voice, but maybe mm. as a fiery, fiery lord from hell. Who just wants to just bite into this juicy, raw, beautiful, sexy tomato. <sighs> Let me just say, you are welcome at my Dungeons and Dragons table anytime. I'll bring the tomatoes. <laughs> are you a Dungeons and Dragons guy, Ali? You know, I, I've played a couple of sessions with the friends in person and then uh, some online sessions uh, with some VA friends. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's just uh, time commitment. And yeah, it's just life has been disgustingly busy. Um, but, you know, I would love to join you for a session. Mm, mm. I think you'd be good. I would do it. I... You'd, uh, you'd probably need to... Um take my spot which is hard to take because like Biovia knows I'm a man of a thousand voices and um, they don't call me the South African Chris Savitt for nothing but my main point is um, oh, what's your plan Ali what's your plan for the future with uh, with the social media you've got such a fan base I know you do you, do you want to be the next Bryce Pippenbrook do you want to be the next Chris Savitt do you want to be the next Sean Schimmel Honestly, that would be really cool because those are people who I like looked up to in voiceover getting into it and everything. Um, but I guess like, you know, after seven years doing like I, I've done so many auditions, like over a thousand, I've been in some animation works, a lot of like commercial stuff, e-learning radio ads for me, it would be cool to get up there, but it's not my end goal. Uh, I've honestly just been enjoying what I've been doing, you know, getting the work that I have been getting meeting a ton of voice actors, getting to be friends with them. Like I consider some of them family, to be honest, like they, they've been awesome. So it would be super cool to be in like that spot where you have like a MC character and like you have a huge fan base. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm very content with where I am. I would like to go there, but it doesn't mean that I feel like I haven't, um, haven't made it in this space. I've, I've enjoyed my time so far and yeah, uh, it would be cool, but not the end goal that's special that's good that's a good outlook to have and you're right where you are at the moment you've succeeded so tremendously in so many different ways and um like you mm -hmm. said so many voice actors are your family your friends and some of them even your lovers um so you know that that's, that's, that's two right here that's two right. <laughs> so that's just how it happens but um yeah no we love we love what you do we love we can for the people listening where where can people people find you? I know TikTok as as what what's your TikTok username? Uh, I believe it's Keyblade Alley there on Instagram. It's Ali Gohar VO on Twitter. Uh, I believe Keyblade Alley or Ali Gohar again. YouTube Keyblade Alley again. I'm a I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. Or I yeah you know, I used to be I I I love that uh, game growing up. So it kind of stuck with me through a lot of these social names. So Keyblade Ali or Ali Gohar. Great. And what about your OnlyFans? What's that? Uh, you know, you should know you're signed up for it, right? 
<laughs> I see you looking, liking, yeah, yeah well, paying me that monthly due. It's a fake. It's a fake name. All right. I didn't think you'd know it was me, the A Dad. You than know, the, the South dad. African Chris Sabbath. I, I, I figured it, it was you. You know. God, I shouldn't have said that. I it's shouldn't okay. have said that. It's okay. I'm humbled. You know. Maybe right. one day I can inspire you to build your own OnlyFans. Obviously, yeah. if your wife's okay with it, you know that I'm consuming that content. She, um, yeah, I, you know, I actually have thought. I've thought about um, not not OnlyFans, but uh, but uh, on a like, I'd love to get paid money to just sit there and eat food. I know some girls have that where they I sit there. Food. And they just eat food like ASMR, and they oh, just sit in the yes. food, you know, and they make a bunch of money. Like, have you have you tried not not eating food, but have you tried that NPC lives that this girl that girl's doing with the roses, roses and stuff like that yet, Ali? I have not tried it. It looks <laughs> it looks Stupid. funny. Um, uh, I I don't know. I've I've never tried that. It's funny. Me and my wife always uh, joke around. There's this one that always goes on, and then. She's always like, um, um, um. And then she's like, no, spicy. And like does funny little voices and stuff. We we kind of <laughs> meme on it. It's it, it's funny. Now we just send voice notes to each other uh, of those things. And it's quite a quite a laugh. But no, I haven't done that. Uh, for me, I, I'd rather make money doing uh, doing other things. But you never know. Maybe, maybe $10, I'll do it on dollars a day. $10,000 a day. Is <sighs> So, um, 10 K a day, seriously. Yeah. 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 Uh, just I mean, for, I would do it for probably that money. I, I'm not even, I'll, yeah. You should give it a go early. I'd, 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 um, yeah, I dare you. Okay. You see, you do it on a dare. So I dare you to get, I, only, here's the do thing. Double, I only do double doggy dares. So yeah. Oh no. <laughs> see, here's the thing with, with the, with the eating thing that you have an advantage of. You can do all these amazing voices and pretend to be, different people while you're eating so one day it's this big barbarian like and then the next day it's just no spicy yeah. Yeah. exactly oh exactly true true that that is a great idea you should trademark that before i make money off of it bro <laughs> you said you assume i haven't already true Ooh. okay mm. well a couple some of my proceeds shall go to him okay that's fine <laughs> my sweet tomato me... son will be fed Oh, tomato sauce. You got baby. that right, honey. Tomato sauce. Um, the uh, Biovio, before we finish things up, because I know Ali has a bunch of other things to do, and I just saw his video. It looks amazing. Do you have any other questions, Biovio? Actually, uh, not necessarily questions, but kind of how, like, why it's so cool for me to be here with you. So I don't. Obviously, I know that you've known that I followed you for at least a year and a half, I would say. Obviously, you knew that as soon as day one when I had about 100 followers back then. Obviously, I was the only one that stood out. Um, but I distinctly remember, like, so many of your videos when I first got into, like, doing VO and impersonations and stuff like that, I would have them on and just practice my my own yelling my own ability to them to try and see like okay how does mine compare to someone who actually knows what they're doing and so i actually learned a lot about yelling um and different forms of voice acting from a lot of your videos even um ironically when we for our other podcast the anime dudes the intro to that one i'm screaming go beyond plus ultra and i listened to one of yours before recording that to make sure that i could do it so um wow yeah you're, you're a pretty cool man. dude <laughs> no i dude you're a pretty cool dude you guys are both really cool dudes and you approaching me for the you know the podcast or, and just meeting you online was like such an awesome opportunity because you know you're right like you know someone follows me it's hard for me to pick up that you know like oh hey this is a voice actor i have to get to know them you're like because sometimes you just see so many like so, i'll go through my list of mm -hmm. message requests or my follow list and i'll scroll through for like two minutes just to make sure that I followed someone who is a voice actor. Cause I like to keep myself connected in that community, but sometimes people slip through, but uh, I'm glad we could have met now. And that's really cool that, you know, you did your intro after watching like a video like mine. That means so much. Like mm. actually it, it, it's crazy. Uh, I, that like, that makes me feel like I've made it. If like I've inspired someone else for some sort of content or like, 
inspired them like, hey, I want to try and get into voice acting too. That's me making it, not me making it like as an MC. That'd be cool, but like inspiring others is like the biggest thing for me because I love this craft so much. Like I put so much money, so much time into this. So here to hear stuff like that makes my freaking like week, my day, my month. It's it's awesome. So thank you for sharing that. Of course. And, you know, it. I, I think you're spot on the money for especially like just being able to inspire others. Like that's what I, what I do too. If I can make someone's day just a little bit better with some of the wacky voices that I do as well, then that's, that's really all that I care about. You know, I, so I feel you on that, that I feel like that is, that is, as any VO, that's a really good goal for us to strive for because that's when we know, like we've made this world better than we found it. And what, a, there's no better feeling than that to me. 100% man and I feel like in this space there you know there can be gatekeeping there can be people who don't open themselves to advice if you have any questions I never ever ever want to be anyone like that I don't want to ever gatekeep anyone from anime like hey don't go use this site don't do this don't do that um, I always want to try and help people out so for me if someone reaches out to me like hey how can I do this or hey I'd like to work with you or hey like how do you edit your audio Anything like that, I like I share my techniques with everybody in regards to like what I've learned over these seven years. And I'm happy to do that. And I don't need to attach a price tag to that because I feel like in voiceover already, there's so much competition. There's so many people mm -hmm. in, in the space. It's difficult. And like you see everyone succeeding and you're like, oh, I haven't made it or anything like that. Like I didn't get my first paid gig till like two, three years in. And even that there was like cold periods where I didn't make anything. So I know... Money's already tight because classes are expensive, equipment's expensive, acoustic treatment is expensive. There's just a lot of negatives with voiceover. I want to be someone that can encourage the positives and help you stay in this field or at least know what you're getting into because I don't want to say, hey, buy all this expensive stuff you know, before you get into the field and then you end up not even liking it because voiceover is so much more different than I thought initially. Like I didn't think it was this heavily involved in you know, acoustic treatment being such a big thing or, you know, all these different techniques for vo voiceover or being able to edit your audio a little bit. Uh, you know, how much is involved in a demo reel? How much money is involved in this craft? It's, it's absolutely insane. So I like to help people out, you know, free of charge. Maybe if it gets to the point where I have like a thousand people asking, I would do a course. But even then, like, I don't know. I, li I like teaching this information for free because I know how difficult it is for aspiring VAs and VAs that are already in the field. That's amazing, Ali. For sure. You're, you're um, you, you truly, bro, your attitude is, is so positive and uplifting. And, um, you know, I've spoken to you before, but it truly is uplifting, positive. Um, you are basically like a real life protagonist in, in a, in a positive <laughs> anime. I just, I picture you as, um, as a Goku combined with maybe a, a Tanjiro, Goku Tanjiro. Um, my god that is like the combined. ultimate compliment <laughs> thank no, you it's a, so it's, much it's the truth your personality is not only your talent but your personality is on point and your body's rocking so there's two you already have the entry in my friend just book the flight <laughs> ticket or book it for me and i will be there with bells on what's your weight and, and height if you don't mind me asking ali I will give you any details you want. Thank okay. You. Uh, uh, as for weight, I'm at the 200 mark. I would like to be at the 180, but some people say it's too skinny. But I'm like, man, I just want to I want to experience it again. It's been so long. Uh, in regards to the height, I'm 5'10". But uh, yeah, until I can get some weird knee stuff going on, I, I think I'm stuck at that height. Yeah, I mean, there's a possibility hanging upside down. I've heard good things. Um, that's good. I'm going to try that tonight. Tonight. Yeah, give it a go. How about, how about go. you? Can uh, can you give me your specs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 6'3", and uh, 290 pounds. What? Um, Dude, yeah. you are mad. 6'3", too? Holy crap. I would yeah, I didn't even know that. Seven. This is an anime dad exclusive. <laughs> you look uh you look pretty buff you want to rip off the shirt or something you know I, <laughs> it's you, can fat. Unre you don't have to record that part that's fine I, but I, I, he uh, wants to see <laughs> that'll be an only fans that'll be an only fans thing but uh no i definitely am uh i'm a little bit heavy at the moment but I, I, i'm enjoying eating and i'm Bro, enjoying food is food is life is so short you know yeah enjoy you know what enjoy sucks? what you eat 
Uh, I love food, but uh, you know, I, I can't eat gluten anymore because it would cause so many health issues for me. So I've been off gluten for like four or five months, which has sucked because I love, I love food. I love burger. Burgers are my favorite food. I can't even eat that anymore no. unless it's like a gluten-free bun, and they're just, they're just awful. Oh, they are awful. Not the same. Mm. But oh, I, terrible. I will watch you eat food in front of a camera, and I will pay you money oh, to goodness, do it yes. because I love food. I love the way you look. I love voiceover, so hearing that, my it's like all all pluses. I have to pay for that type of content. Okay, all right. Well, after this, I know what I'm doing. That's for sure. Can I hear you sip whatever you're drinking right now? I, I, like, I just really want to. Oh my god! Wonderful <laughs> sip. Nine <laughs> out of ten, bro. Thank you, my wife. Twenty out of ten for I've me. I've got a I've got a great wife. She bought me a smoothie and Aww. a coffee you just came in and poured it to me and then gave me a virtual kiss and i said back away all right i've got more important people here but it was still nice <laughs> seeing you and talking to her anyway but um yeah ali uh I, i'm not shy to say i love you and i know Biovia loves you as well um i love most definitely i love you <laughs> romantically and, and yeah. you oh, know in other ways oh yeah, yeah, obviously oh, all okay. the ways all the way. It's a lot of bromance here. I, lo I love the bromance that can happen in VO. Honestly, it's amazing. It's uplifting. <laughs> Jeez. It's it's disgusting how much I love it, but I, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> I'm the same. It's fun. It's fun. It's absolutely. To... I mean, this is the only way I can, you know, I don't, there's a lot of old people who are very weird in my town. This is my only outlet that I've got young guys that I can, that can, I can be slightly strange with. But, um, but Ali. Could yes, you, sir. Could you take us out saying um, saying your name and thanks for listening to the Anime yeah. Dad podcast? Of course. Hey, guys. Ali Gohar here. If you guys have tuned in this, thus far, I appreciate it very much. Thank you for listening to the Anime Dad podcast. These guys are amazing, and I'm very happy to have been able to speak my truth here. Thank you.